Well, hello, it is August 4th, 2021, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello, and welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. It's the middle of the week, and I don't know where you are, but where I am, it's raining right now. It's a dreary day out. Uh, pray that the sun will come out later, uh, but for now we have the Son of God to talk about. So if you have your Bibles, turn to the book of Romans, book of Romans chapter 6. We're going to look at two verses, verses 22 and 23. Hear now the word of the Lord. But now that you've been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. Amen. Well, Paul, uh, writing to the church at Rome, writing to us to encourage us and to challenge us to live our lives in a manner that is glorifying to God, with the reminder that we've been set free from sin with the goal of of being sanctified or made right, uh, of walking right, of being made holy in the sight of God. And that holiness then enables us in the end to eternal life with Christ. He closes the passage in the chapter by reminding us that the wages of sin is death. The wages of our rebellion against God is, is death. But that the free gift of God, that which he gave us through his son Jesus Christ, is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Think about that and contemplate that as you go through the day today, that you did nothing to earn life in God. He did it for you through Jesus Christ. He paid the penalty for you. He took upon himself the, your sins that you would be able to be declared holy, that is justified, and to live a holy life that is sanctified with the goal, the end being eternal life with Jesus Christ. Seek to walk with him each day and to glorify him in every way. That is what we are to be about each day. Today we're going to hear a little bit from Richard Bas Baxter from his book, A uh, Christian Directory. Uh, on this verse, we read, If you have sincerely given, your, given yourself up to God and consented to his covenant, show it by turning the face of your endeavors in conversation quite another way. Seek heaven more fervently and diligently than you ever sought the world or fleshly pleasures. Holiness consists not in a mere forbearance of a sensual life, but principally in living unto God. The principle or heart of holiness is within and consists in the love of God, his word, his ways, his servants, his honor, and his interest in the world. It consists in the soul's delight in God and the ways of God. It is inclined toward him and seeks after him to please him. It hates to offend him. The expression of it in our lives consists in a diligent, I mean a consistent, excuse me, the expression of it in our lives consists in a constant, diligent exercise of the eternal life according to the directions of the Word of God. If you are a believer and have subjected yourself to God as your absolute sovereign king and judge, it will then be your work to obey and please him as a child his father or as a servant his master. Do you think that God will have servants and have nothing to do with them or nothing for them to do? Will one of you commend or reward your servant for doing nothing and take it to the year's end for a satisfactory answer or account if you might say, I have done no harm? God calls you not only to do no harm, but to love and serve him with all your heart and soul and might. If you have a better master than you had before, then you should do more work than you did before. Will you not serve God more zealously than you serve the devil? Will you not labor harder to save your souls than you did to damn them? Will you not be more zealous in good than you were in evil? If you are true believers, you have now laid up in your hope in heaven. Seek it as worldlings set themselves to seek the world. Amen. 
Amen. So let's uh, close our time together today now in prayer. Father, we give you thanks that you are indeed our Lord and Savior in Christ Jesus, that we find our hope and our strength in you, that our salvation is bound up in you, that you paid the price for us and have given us life, life eternal, through Jesus Christ, who declared us righteous, who makes us righteous, and in whose lives we can, and in, in who we can live our lives in a manner holy unto you for the glory of your kingdom. Give us the strength, the wisdom, and the will today to live sanctified lives for your glory, that all around us may see Christ in us and know the salvation found in him. That we pray, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we gather together again for some thoughts from the Word.